when we built these rendering features, physically based rendering, real-time GI, deferred renderer, reflections, we made several demos to make sure that what we built is very artist-friendly, easy to use, and works really well in productions. The biggest demo that we created is the blacksmith demo. And first, I want to show you that to you right now, running in real time. I just really love this demo so much. So this was running real time. Actually, here we have um, this mode where we can scrub through. It makes this funky sound when you scrub. And you can see when we look at it here, for example, we can pause it. We can look a bit around. You see the particles and the vegetation is still updating while it's paused. And all of this is running real-time. This demo 
it's also very scalable. We can run this on a, on a laptop. You don't need the highest end PC to run it. And most importantly, it's a huge step in visual fidelity. And also, we're making this demo available now. You can go to our website. You can go to our website, and you can download it. You can install it. You can run it on your own PC and experience it on your own. Now, it's really fantastic, this demo, because it really shows the power that we have in Unity 5. But what's more important is that you can create your own games at a similar visual fidelity as what we have done in this, in this project. And so a lot of you have asked us if we can't take this project and release it to you so that you can learn from it. And so for this reason, we have spent some time taking this project, splitting it into smaller pieces, extracting all these different technologies and shaders and effects that we have built into it, extracting it into small packages that are easy to understand, easy to learn from. And I'm happy to announce that today we are also making the project folders that we have extracted available on the Asset Store. You can go to the Asset Store, you can install them. You can install them, you can mess with them, you can look at all the shaders that we have created, you can look at all the scripts that we have made, all the tools that we have built, everything is in there. Now, I want to give you an overview of some of these things that we have created. The first one is the environment project. So first, I will run this in play mode, and then we'll take a bit of a look around. So you can see here, this demo is very much about atmospheric scattering. You can see these, these beautiful mountains in the distance, the atmospheric scattering when you look at the sun that is setting down, it gives the mountains this red hue. On the other hand, on the far side that is not hit directly by the sun, there is a blue hue that is created via atmospheric scattering. And you can see how this also changes based on where you are with the camera. It's affected by occlusion. And especially when we, when we animate the, um, the light direction, we can see the beautiful effect that, that this has. Everything changes real time. So when we move the, the light, we can see here how, how it how the real-time GI and the atmospheric scattering really has a huge effect on the mountains and the colorization of it. And that is just what makes this, this whole demo just look so beautiful. So that's one part, the atmospheric scattering, Rayleigh me scattering, and several uh, several other low, um, low, uh, low atmospheric scattering effects. Now, the second effect I want to show you is the, is the grass. We spent a lot of work making, uh, making really good shaders for the grass. You can see how they really well fit into the environment. They blend nicely into the terrain. Also, notice how the grass looks very soft. It's very nicely animated, looks very soft. Also, when we change the light, you can immediately see the shadows update, the real-time GI updates, and everything just looks completely in place. It looks like it's, it's a big part of the scene, and that's because the lighting fits all together in the scene. And then, of course, in this demo, we also have a lot of physically-based assets. We have the rocks. We have um, these buildings over here. We have the bridge. And it's just a great, it's just a couple great assets 
that are really good to learn from how to get, create some really, really good artwork that works well in all lighting conditions with physically based rendering. So that's the first project. The second one I want to show you is all about the characters. In this one, the focus is, is very much on the, first of all, on the hair of the character. We can see here, we have a, a custom hair shader. We have um, a physically based, um, specialized uh, lighting model for the hair. It's an anisotropic lighting. There's flow maps and all kinds of controls to define the comb of the hair that makes it just look very natural. Also, we use blend shapes to do the facial animation of the character. And from these blend shapes, we also drive some wrinkle maps that give it this extra kind of detail in the face. Also, when we zoom out, we can see there's metallic surfaces on the character. There's leather. So again, really good use of physically based rendering assets to make this look really, really nice. And another part is the uh, fully simulated cloth. So this is real-time simulated cloth on this character that moves as he moves his legs. And it can that way adapt to any situation that you might create. Um, and the last part is the shadows. In the, in the blacksmith demo, we have a very long shadow distance with two kilometers. But when you want to have shadows from the character, like let's say a nose casting a shadow over the character, you want to have a custom unique shadow map just for that character so that the character in focus has that extra le level of quality on the shadows. So it's very detailed. So we added support for unique shadow maps that are especially useful for characters. And so all of these projects, they are available on the Asset Store. You can download them, play with them, do what you want with them. You can use the assets, use the shaders, use the artwork in your project, learn from it, and, and just download them now. It's pretty amazing. It's a super high quality project.